like come up to me and they're like, why why are they using computer screens? And it's like, because those are the best you can get. If you could do the setup with the monitors, yeah. it always goes so crazy. I was like, because do you remember when like the switch from CRT to like HD TVs, they weren't called that, they were called flat screens. Yeah. Like, the big deal was that they just weren't curved. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. So we saw, you know, kicking things off. Moki going yep. down there with the double shine. Um, you ain't going to get anything. HBox got a lot of jumps. Uh, you kind of got to guess right like five times in a row if you really want to do get that game from the start. But return to neutral here. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> spot dodge, spot dodge. Roll, roll. Spot dodge, spot dodge. Get grabbed and then SDI the up air. Yep. That's, that's the HBox. We love defense. I need as many iframes as I can get. Yeah, noting the pounds here early, uh, that's really what a, a lot of uh, top players have been taking advantage of in recent years. I think Zane notably can just read when HBox is going to go in for that really high pound. Again, Marth has better defensive options against it than Fox potentially. Ooh, the jab, jab is that crazy! Jab is so good, but... Woo! Oh, okay. Wow. Layers. I got you. No, you got me. Oh, no, I got you right the back. Jab to prevent getting to the ledge was brilliant, but then, you know, the, the next level counterplay from both of them. Uh, you were you were mentioning the pound. Uh, if you think the pound is like a, if you think a pound is almost like an aerial wave dash, like okay. it, it's not quite the same. But it's you are stuck in this exact movement. You cannot do anything for a specific amount of time. Uh, it just has the hitbox attached to it. That, yeah. Uh, you, you look at the player cam. Yeah, the volume on ultimate's kind of going crazy yeah, over here. I, I, think I think we're good. I think someone bumps the volume back <laughs> for a sec. Hopefully that gets toned down a bit. We could even hear that through our headphones, so. Ooh, the, the shine Again. stall. That should just be it. Gets the poof. Yeah. That's now two in a row where, or where uh, Hungry Box was able to start that stock going by just like flipping Moki right before he tried to get to ledge. Yeah. And that's what that's two times. Yes. Two times Moki hasn't gotten the perfect ledge grab and has gotten punished for it. Yep. And it's not been the same thing each time. We're yep. seeing the mix up from HBox and how he is going down yeah. there. There was the jab right before ledge that time. I believe it was just the forward air drop. But either way, we talked about getting a bead on Hungry Boxes, uh, like pound timings. It looks like Hungry Box is getting the read on Moki's, like, just how do you like to recover right now? That's all I'm looking for. There's not even recovering. It's just no. get, like the step before. Oh. Yeah, and that's going to hit basically every single time here. You have the opportunity to go for some little punish there. It just gets it back here to try to link it yeah. to something on the other side flat. But again, you're yeah. just going to get that single hit string right there. Yeah, it's not guaranteed. You can DI it, but if you don't DI it, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, perfect percent there. No SEI opportunity on the second hit. And now we're down to even. Last stock, game one. So it, it feels like it's done very hungry box momentum, but that's just because he's taking the first stock at each of these rallies. I mean, this is the first time this game we've seen HBOX kind of hold center stage a lot, like just rolling right there. Loki really was going for positioning in the early stocks here. Is now at kill percent potentially yeah. with a grab. It's now at kill percent, but the, the percent that... Hungrybox was taking the stocks was not super high. It was just like, I'm going to clip you before ledge, edge guard. I'm not, like, blast zoning you. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, now we see the defensive corner play here from HBox. Kind of how the first couple stocks looked and worked really well for Hungrybox's side. Hungrybox also, something to note, has been going. Ooh, this wait, could be wait, it. Wait, wait. Okay, not yet. Yeah, too high of a percent now. HBox is oh! able to get it. Hits it on the DI, too. Pops okay. out of the chair. Yeah, that's like at, right at that edge there where if it was a. Full DI, right? Reading it, like, still able to get it. Really good. That's a lot. It looks simple. That's way harder than it looks. <laughs> that is the, like, to get the DI and also to feel confident enough to go for the rest. Because he was just straight up dead if that missed. I will also note with uh, taking a Pokemon here, uh, we do have transformation shenanigans, and HBox loves that stuff. Yeah. If we get, HBox like, Windmill, does. nobody ha can go near HBox with Windmill. But... It's Still a very good stage for Fox, even with transformations, especially with I mean, especially. It's just yeah, actually, but player by player basis. Yeah. Ooh, the shield drop up there into the rest. Hungry Box has been working on these rest setups. It's it's not just oh my god. Okay, wait. Because it's not just like oh I got up throw rest or I have this. The aggressive rest setups, whether he's been showcasing some of the, the tech chase rest. Well, yeah, he's been doing on. the stream challenges where yes. it's how many RTC rests I hit in a stream. Gets yep. that low up air, isn't able to get the re-grab on the tech. But even if these aren't the reaction tech chase rests, these are still the, like, I, I have gotten more accustomed to playing very aggressively with this one option. He also has really crazy defensive rest setups now, too. We saw it yesterday. He had the ASD, uh, ASDI down on the side plat and was able to get the instant rest on nuns trying to punish with, like, Ooh, a knee or something. Oh, it was okay. crazy. I remember years ago, people 
we're like, oh yeah, if you do, oh no, oh yeah, no. You don't have to worry about transformations if you get star KO'd on, on a rest there. And now HBox going to his friend over there. Yeah, he, if, if Moki wasn't star KO'd, if he had gone off the side, I think he would have been able to get something dirty in the pit. But. If uh, HBox doesn't perfectly snap to ledge here, there is the opportunity for Moki to do like the crazy down tilt that'll pop up because oh, of the sure. lip. I don't know if we're going to see it or not because it's kind of overplayed at this point. But What a silly stage. Yeah. <laughs> what a silly stage. I love the... Ooh. That's I don't know actually, if that meant to be a full hop up air. I don't know what the read was. I mean, I guess it was reading a jump, but this might be another rest. It is. I think it is. Oh. That is never what you want to see from Moki here. Go to the counter pick stage and you've already gotten rested. Is that the th for the third time? Yes, Not only that, but like, when you're up that far, you are so willing to take that trade. I'm like, I'm at 80, but you're dead. Yeah. Now I'm dead, but like, cool. I'm winning any trade until we get to a certain spot. I, I mean, we were talking about Moki being like a uh, momentum vibes based player. I mean, HBox kind of like padded it, right? Yeah. If I'm feeling good about myself, my play's gonna feel good. If I'm listening to music that I like, I'm gonna play good, all of this stuff. So I think getting the rest also is kind of a buff for himself. I mean, I was, this is one of the first times that I've been able to not just like see, but actually like commentate Hungrybox after the like <laughs> the rest revolution. Best like, eyes there. Right, here's all the things that I'm working on. Here's how I can guarantee this kill way sooner, or at least like turn this risk into a, you know, 70% chance. Yep. And oh my god, it's paying off already. Yeah, really unfortunate for Moki there that HBox had the SDI, because now the look really is just going to be, can I get a jab, up smash, can I get a stray up air? We do see the windmill come out, and HBox is going to position himself around in a neutral. He should be able to confirm the edge guard here. Oh, that nair is so interesting. Okay. Gets a jab and it's oh, knocked the, down. The knockdown is so strange there. Yeah, you get the little windmill height. And yeah, this is, Pokemon is peculiar. We all love I, it. Get our quirks. The fact that we go from, like, potentially one of the most, like, competitively viable stages to these shenanigans is oh. like, all right, I guess. I think HBox is just going for reads right here. Was reading the full side B and then just F smash that way. <laughs> Gardas didn't even go for reaction because of just the stark percentage lead. And a pretty confident game to win. All right. Hungry box <laughs> takes the squig of the, of the Red Bull, takes the squig of the water. We've got the energy and the hydration. Yeah, shout out S2J, sip two <laughs> juices. You've got to have at least two drinks with you. Don't know what to tell you. The fact that I don't have caffeine at our table right now is a big problem. <laughs> yeah, go right back to Pokemon. I mean, the stage inherently is no, not the I, issue. I think this is the right, yeah. This is the right pick, but hey, when things go wrong, they go real wrong. So. Oh, just eating bear after bear after bear in neutral. Ooh. I mean, I guess like the trade off is there. Yeah, HBox is just looking for these grabs with two of them and got the third. Is able to just do a little fat puff yeah. roll. The hard DI out is great to get out of the rest, but if you're already that close to the ledge, you're now facing a second fear. Yeah, just rip it. Why not rip raw grab a neutral? It, it works so well in the last game. And you have such a good percentage lead here. I mean, you're leading into like the jab up smash percent or, you know, up throw up air, but. But dang, uh, Hungrybox doesn't make jab up smash very easy. No. Yeah, the SDI is there. I mean, just the knowing the situation where you could be pre DIing. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Good back into the ledge. Recognize he was holding on a little too long. Yeah, defensive play there. Knows the jab is coming, knows, of course, what it's going to link into and knows what to do there. Hungrybox. Surprised to not see the grab after the drill there from yes. HBox, though. Yeah. Hungrybox is going, it's just rolling a lot more than I expect, but it keeps working. So, like, <laughs> keep it up, I guess. Happy to not see the pound back to ledge there. Learned his mistake the first time. Gotta clean it up. Gotta clean it up. Didn't take too and much. And go straight time. to the windmill. I, uh, I hope we see something quirky over there. But Moki on the aggressive here. Oh, no. Gets the tech. Watching someone tech roll up a window is always just like, huh, I guess that makes sense. Oh, we saw the lip kind of move on the grab there. Down throw, re, re grab it. That okay. was one of the weirdest like Pokemon Stadium stocks where like nothing too bad happened, but like, like I can't play almost everything worked stage. in Moki's yeah. way. Like a lot of that was just Moki. Good awareness either way. Oh! I, yeah, this was a crazy hitting, hitting the, the wave, wave dash. On a, a moving angleable window is actually very difficult. SDI. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh no, just going for it. Good whiffs job. once, whiffs twice, turns and, around, and, gets the read. And that's the role that I was talking about is like, this is working out a lot more than it should for Hungry Box, but if Mogi's able to start, Mogi's been like a frame or two off on it every time of like, oh, you roll, I'm gonna grab, up. Oh, never mind, I timed it wrong. In this case, all right, I, I've got the read on this. I, I'm not gonna like react to it. I just know you're going for it. Yeah, what do you do here? You could do some quirky stuff, maybe just down, laser though. up smash. Oh, goes for the up tilt to extend to yeah. a combo, gets the fair. Up smash wasn't going to kill, so oh. wanted to get something extended. Yeah, and Hbox is going for these options a lot more, and so I think you're talking about it. Moki knew he mistimed it. Ooh, Can't ooh. get the kill here. No, not yet. First but he hit. keeps getting practice. Oh, did not want to do the little F throw there. I think he was surprised he got the grab. Is that also the dead zones to the side? Oh, no! Hungry box pops off. I think we wanted to see another game, but uh, man, shut that down fast. Shut yeah. that down hard. Hbox did not want to see another game. No, especially as Moki was looking a lot more like in control for that final one. I think if we had gone to another game, we would have very good chance we would have ended up getting the game five. The like, here's the. the